I am Synth Sam, and today I'm going to be coming to you with another reaction video, but this time it's going to be Metronomy. The song is called Love Factory. Now this is an unreleased song. It's going to be on their upcoming Small World album, which is going to be released in February, which I cannot wait for. Now Metronomy at the moment is my absolute jam. They're my, probably my favorite band of all time. I love them dearly, and I cannot wait for their album to come out. However, uh, a couple months ago, they did a show uh, for their Small World launch party and they played this song Love Factory and I'm really looking forward to hearing it for the first time. Um, I'm pumped to see what it sounds like. I know Joseph Mount from Metronomy the Lead Singer, he was announcing or saying in some interviews that he was looking to do more of a uh, instrumental approach, so in terms of drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, keeping it simple and really focusing on more lyrical content. Uh, so I'm looking to see whether that's the case and that he was looking to get away from synth a little bit as that's kind of taken over uh, the bulk of what they do. But however, Metronomy are known for their amazing synth so I doubt that it's going to be completely gone. Um, I still think they're going to use amazing synth but I'm in in excited to hear this song and see what direction they're going to take in this new album. We've heard It's Good To Be Back, that was pretty synthy, loved that track, it was awesome. But now we're going to listen to Love Factory here and uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts and we'll go through it together. So let's do it. Good turnout. Making sure those instruments are in check. Got Michael on the guitar, Anna on the drums, G Banger on the bass, Oscar Cash probably on the keyboards. And I assume looks like Joseph Mount on the acoustic guitar. Here we go. Ah, wow. kind of tricked me. That sounded like a guitar, but he's actually using synth. Nice, I love that. These guys work so well in unison when they sing together. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit of a crush on Anna Pryor. Always have, always will. She's just so cool. Super chill vibes, I like it. I like it so far, it's great. Here we go, Joe. This sounds great so far, I love it. It's just super chill vibes and definitely uh, more evolved with the instruments, I'd say. But still, you got that bit of that synth pad in the background. Oh, I love how it interchanges between lead singing from Joe. Oh, there we go, even there as well. And then the backing vocals from all of them. Oh. This would be the perfect song to listen to, like in their video in the bay. Just driving down the coast with the conver convertible, top down, in the sun, chilling out to Love Factory. It's actually really good to see them playing live again because uh, whether you knew it or not, if you follow Anna Pryor on Instagram, she's had some pretty bad hip issues. Um, which I actually also suffer from as well. I've actually been messaging her a little bit to, to get some help with it. Uh, so she struggled with some impingement in her hips, uh, maybe a torn labrum I believe as well, and it was really impacting her drumming with her kicking. So uh, she had surgery with that, and it's still an ongoing process, but she hasn't missed a beat, and it's great to see her back here. This is a great track guys, honestly. This is awesome. Metronomy are still so relevant in, in, in the indie rock, pop, electronica, synth world, honestly. There we 
ago, Michael Levick shredding on his guitar. Great guitarist, great lead singer, and a creator of Nazca Lines as well. Another thing to note as well is that Joseph Mount was super nervous apparently before this show and these, these live show space they did because of his voice. He's been a bit self-conscious of his voice, but honestly, I would take his voice over an operatic singer any day because it, 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 to me, a voice like that, like Joseph Mount and other indie rock specialists and indie pop bands, it's more emotive, it's real. Let's keep each other warm. That's from that Instagram kind of little clip they did. Man, I so want to see these guys live again. I haven't seen them live yet. I've been following these guys since the late 2000s, and I still haven't seen them live. From Australia, I moved to Canada. They were going to come to Canada. They had the tour booked, and then the pandemic hit, and I missed out. But I'll see them one day. Just so chill guys, super chill vibes, classic metronomy in there still, but I really like that the background singers and that, you know, all them singing together in unison, I thought that was fantastic. Nice guys, what do you think about that song? Tell me in the comments below, is that what you're expecting from metronomy, new metronomy coming up, this new album Small World in February? I'm so excited for the album to come out, I'm going to be breaking down every single song from that album. Um, live reacting for the first time to each track as well so you can get my initial quick thoughts and I'm just pumped for it I reckon it's gonna be my jam probably for all of 2022 if I'm honest but what do you think about that song Love Factory I think it's top-notch I think it's great oh man I'm pumped I give it 10 English Rivieras out of 10 that's 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 boss so anyway guys I'm so pumped for that please hit that subscribe button below Hit that bell as well so you don't miss out when I start reviewing and reacting to these tracks as they come out. I'm sure there's going to be a single from Metronomy, probably coming out this month, January, uh, because it's been a couple months since we had It's Good To Be Back, and it's coming out in February, and usually most bands do two or three singles before they release their album, so I, I assume there'll be one. I kind of hope it's Love Factory. I'd love to hear the studio version here. But thanks so much for tuning in again, guys, and I'll see you next time on Synth Sam.